Hey guys, I'm Breezy. And my name is Rybash. And this is the Stanley Parable. The Stanley Parable. We actually played the Stanley Parable for a second. And this is the story of a man named Stanley. Be right back. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Oh, Stanley. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something mm. that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> as we were saying, we just followed the guy's directions the first time we went through this, and we, um, we were uh, surprised to find that the game ended in about five minutes. Yeah, I uh, pretty much followed everything he said to do, and... Uh, and that was the question. <laughs> <laughs> so there's got to be a lot, be a lot more to it. Were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a Ooh. memo. Ah, uh, the good old meeting room. Yeah, no we've matter been how there. hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. All right, nobody's in here. Notice you can interact with some of these sometimes. Yeah. But I don't know if it requires us having been somewhere else in order to come back and maybe on. One of them I was able to press a button, but... Um, okay, trying to remember where to go. Oh, yes. Right, the two doors. The two doors. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. <laughs> he entered the door on his left. <laughs> so the first time we played this, I stepped to the left and went yeah. through the door. <laughs> so this time, let's try the right door. I'm not listening to you, pompous British the guy. Door on the right. He's quite funny. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps yeah. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. We are going to test the English gentleman's patience. Here's the meat, the, what is this again? Uh, the the lounge. Yes, lounge. truly a room worth admiring. It would really be <laughs> worth the detour after all, <laughs> just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Uh, Stanley okay. simply stood here, drinking it all in. It's, uh, it's kind of, it's very... He gets kind of sassy. He does get sassy. <laughs> the, uh... The meeting room is very yes, sterile and dry, really, like... Really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly <laughs> captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Yes. Right. So he does make a good point, but it's pretty funny. But eager to get back to business, yeah. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh. Uh. Okay, we, we did do that as well. Well... I don't know if we did or no, not. No, we didn't. I think last well, time. Well, the first we time we just forward. obeyed him, we never came down here. We just followed That's his true. directions, door on the left, boss's office. So we have gone that way. Maybe we should go there yeah. again. Show you guys what we found. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Is that a threat? Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. <laughs> stop lying. Don't do it anymore. Alright, we're gonna walk down here. Found a bunch 
boxes, and then apparently Do not if, jump. You, if you jump, it will cause death. And if you jump, you will be charged five thousand dollars. So we're not going to jump, but we'll. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. I don't know what's over there. I'm not yeah. your enemy, really. I'm sure, not. it's out that door. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, there. but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh, you go right over the catwalk there. Yeah. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Now that is Who's intriguing. her? Who is her? I want to know who her is. This is it, Stanley. Your no. chance to redeem yourself. Well, okay. To put Let's your work door. aside. To let her back into locked? your life. Yeah. She's right. been waiting. Yeah, let's go in here. Oh. Okay. Definitely some boxes. Oh. Ooh. I wonder if we could drive that. Alright, we'll go through here. <clears throat> that is um, just a black nothing, this room. Let's go. Ah! Whoa! That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Do we do Should we do it? Should we do it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm doing it. You're picking it up. What happened? I don't know. 427? Are we? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. What? Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to I... come in and tell me all about your day. What? <laughs> gotcha. Ah. Oh, uh... Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want what? to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. I don't trust this guy. Uh, okay. There's a room. That's creepy, man. This is a very sad very story creepy. about the death of a man named Stanley. <gasps> what? It's gonna kill us. Good morning, employee. Press M on your keyboard. I feel like if I press M, this dummy is just going to go all crazy on us. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. What? He's just making us press random buttons. Look at him there, pushing buttons, <laughs> doing exactly what he's told to do. He's making you... <laughs> Now, I'm joking. He's eating lunch. Now, he's going home. Ah. Uh, he's coming back to work. Hey. One might even feel sorry That's for him, the desk. Except that he's chosen this life. Wait, was that there a minute ago? No. When we first came in here, that was a couch. Please press eight. I don't want to press eight. Well. <laughs> can we leave? Let me see. I can try to leave. Nope. I can barely. I'm literally stuck in this room now. <laughs> want to put I'm your? Really so want to push your stupid eight? Can we open the fridge? Is there a way out through the fridge? Nope. Okay, eight it is. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. Oh God! From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. I feel like the room is going to gradually change. Oh, we can watch TV. No, maybe. Yeah. So press E. And so he began to fantasize about uh, his own First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co workers, his boss, everyone in the building, had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. This is the, the story that we're already in. Yeah, is it, is it is in his mind? Press L to spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice 
That's it barely even yeah. mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, this he began to, to fill it with many possible paths yeah. and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And what? he called it the Stanley Parable. Oh, God. It was such a wonderful this fantasy. This guy just talks and forever. So in his head, he relived it again and then show. again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. <laughs> but there is no answer. How could what? there possibly be? Yeah. In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Come on. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Shall we press the button to disobey him? I don't think we have any other choice. Which sounds funny. I don't know. I mean, we can't get out of this room. The desk is in front of that door. There's a chair here. We can't jump. There's nothing else to do. We can't interact. Oh, with so computer. he's gonna make a point about how you didn't press the button, or, or you did press the button. That by disobeying him yeah. and pressing the button. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way sad. that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. Uh, We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And oh, I tried God. Again. Please die. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. <laughs> it's just gonna. It's just. Oh, my God. It's restarting again. Oh, God. So that was like the slow, torturous death of listening to that guy. Oh. Buttons and there's All nothing right. you can do to get out of the room. Yeah. So here we are. Well, again. you shouldn't answer that phone. All of his co-workers were gone. Yeah, yes, so. What could it mean? Yes, yes. Stanley decided Still to really go to the meeting room. I don't think there's anything there. Okay. 